In this video we will review some facts about Wi-Fi. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Wi-Fi is undoubtedly something that the world will never be able to live without. According to some technology data, there are 3.8 billion internet users and around 8 billion gadgets are connected to the internet every day. Wi-Fi is undeniably present in our life and will continue to be so. Nowadays, we can even customize our own Wi-Fi. However, the invention of Wi-Fi and how it operates are equally crucial to understand. When and who invented Wi-Fi? One may argue that the invention of Wi-Fi was a collaborative effort by many people and a stroke of serendipity. The first participants were Australian radio astronomer John O'Sullivan and a group of scientists. They hoped to verify Stephen Hawking's theory about evaporating black holes and their radio waves was correct back in the 1900s. Their research demonstrated that these little waves and their accompanying signals might travel long distances. However, it was impossible to tell these small waves apart from larger ones. As a result, Sullivan and his colleagues set about developing a tool to aid in the identification of the black hole's radio waves. They, unfortunately, failed. Vic Hayes, commonly regarded as the father of Wi-Fi, is the next noteworthy individual. He was a co-creator of the 802.11 standards, which ensure wireless communication works in practice. Hayes was already thinking of methods to make Wi-Fi standards feasible before the general public even understood the concept of wireless communication. However, he required a patent. And, as you might expect, this essential patent originated with Sullivan and his failing tool. In 1992, CSIRO employees John Sullivan, Terence Percival, Graham Daniels, Diethylam Ostry, and John Dean revisited Sullivan's failed experiment and developed a device that could detect the weakest radio signals. Puff. Wi-Fi was first introduced in 1997. We may probably claim that the invention of Wi-Fi was unexpected but warmly appreciated. What exactly is Wi-Fi? Did you realize that Wi-Fi is really an acronym? Some people believe that Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. However, Phil Bellinger, a founder member of the Wi-Fi Alliance, which owns the Wi-Fi emblem, dismissed this. He claimed that Wi-Fi is only an abbreviation with no meaning. Although Wi-Fi was invented in 1997, the term Wi-Fi did not become popular until 1999. How does Wi-Fi function? Wi-Fi is a fantastic networking technique. It sends data using a radio frequency signal, the Wi-Fi logo on your devices. This information is then used to connect smart gadgets such as smartphones, computers, and many others that are in a local region, such as your home. Communication between these devices is possible once a connection is established. Consider a radio gathering up signals and tuning into a radio station. Similarly, to connect to the internet, your gadgets can take up similar high-frequency transmissions. That high-frequency radiation is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi operates on two main frequencies, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Wi-Fi can be picked up through thicker walls when using 2.4 GHz channels. 
5 GHz bands provide speedier connections over shorter distances. However, it is often subjected to more intervention. What is the purpose of a Wi-Fi router? Wi-Fi does not materialize out of thin air. This is why you need a wireless router to connect your devices to the Internet. A wireless router is a piece of hardware that connects to the Internet using an Ethernet cable or modem. The router broadcasts the Wi-Fi signal, which connects to and transports data from the Internet. Your router is hard at work decoding this information while it is carrying it. The adapter in whichever device you're using then picks up the broadcasted signal, decodes it, and delivers it back to your router to be routed to the Internet. In essence, the router serves as an intermediary or dispatcher between your devices and the Internet. Is Wi-Fi equivalent to the Internet? This also implies that Wi-Fi is not synonymous with the Internet. We frequently mix up these two terms, yet they are actually quite different and distinct. Wi-Fi is the frequency signal that connects us to the Internet. The Internet, commonly referred to as the Wide Area Network, WAN, is a large network of networks. It joins several local networks via numerous routers to generate a global connection. A wonderful fact that few people know is that the Internet originated in California. How has Wi-Fi evolved over time? Wi-Fi became popular in the early 2000s, and many people have tried to improve on the initial standards ever since. One may argue that the invention of Wi-Fi was a miracle occurrence that enabled us to go past previously inconceivable technological limitations and frontiers. Increasing speed The original 802.11 link speed was 2 megabits per second, megabyte per second, but it has since expanded to 11 megabits per second, 802.11b, 1999, 54 megabits per second, 802.11a, 2012, and 568.9 megabits per second in the 2014 edition. Wi-Fi 6, 802.11 ax, will support 9.6 gigabits per second by 2020. Cities in these countries currently have the fastest internet connections. Increasing strength Wi-Fi has also grown in strength over time. Wi-Fi routers initially used the 2.4 GHz frequency in 1999, until the 5 GHz spectrum was introduced in 2012. The 802.11 gram standards were created in 2003 to improve both connectivity speed and signal range. Router technology began to improve as well, with greater power and coverage than their predecessors. The advent of dual band routers to help alleviate the issue of slow communication speed, out of range, and interference difficulties is one important router technology. Devices within range would connect automatically to the more efficient 5 GHz frequency. Our Wi-Fi routers can use the 2.4 GHz band to actively maintain connectivity even if devices are further away or behind walls, doors. Smarter living in 2012 and beyond. We entered a new era of Wi-Fi in 2012. Previously, the various 802.11 versions prioritized signal coverage and large data throughput. However, in 2012, a new concept known as beamforming is established. Instead of transmitting Wi-Fi signals in all directions in the hope of reaching the desired devices, it concentrates the signal on a single device. This ensures a more solid and speedier connection. Many of us now use Wi-Fi routers that employ this beamforming principle. The Wi-Fi era 6. We are currently living in the Wi-Fi 6 era which promises the greatest connectivity and link-up speeds between devices to yet at 9.6 gigabits per second.
It is a 300% increase over Wi-Fi 5's 3.5 gigabits per second and attempts to eliminate the problem of several devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network at the same time. You can see how this might be quite handy in a home where one person is on Zoom, another is streaming Netflix, another is gaming, and a slew of smart home features, fingerprint door locks, light sensors, and so on, are all attempting to connect at the same time. However, having Wi-Fi 6 does not ensure top performance. It is also determined by your device. You can learn more by doing a speed test on your device. What can we expect from Wi-Fi 802.11b? The seventh generation of Wi-Fi, 802.11b, is predicted to outperform its predecessor significantly. It uses multi-band technology to ensure more spectrum, more power efficiency, better interference mitigation, and up to 30 gigabits per second performance, which is three times that of Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 7 will be released in 2024, while no precise date has been set. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel, since we will be covering a lot of similar content in the future. Till next time, stay curious.